today. I hope you're having a great week. And today it's time for another science experiment. So I have my giraffes here because this science experiment has to do with giraffes. So what do giraffes have on them on their fur, friends? They have spots. So we're gonna make our own giraffe spots using water and colors and paper towels. Now there's all different kinds of giraffes and all the different kinds of giraffes have different spot patterns and every single giraffe has its own special pattern of spots. Just like you have a unique fingerprint, giraffes have a unique spot pattern. So all of their coats are different in the way that their spots are made. For a giraffe science experiment today, you're gonna need some paper towels and some colors. I made my colors with water and some food coloring and I made all the rainbow colors. You're gonna need some water to clean off your brush and a tray to put your paper towel down on. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take some of my paper towels. I'm gonna just lay it down on my tray. Oh, and friends, don't forget that when we're doing a science experiment, we need to make a prediction. So what do you think is going to happen when I put my watercolor paints onto my paper towel? What is going to happen? Make a prediction. What is going to happen? Okay, so let's keep that in mind. And I'm going to start with some giraffe colors like red and orange and yellow. So I'm going to start with my red. I'm just going to do a little spot right here. And if you watch the colors on the paper towel, they start to spread out. Okay, so see how the water is spreading out onto the paper towel? I'm gonna make another spot. See the water spreading on the outside? I'm gonna try some orange. Whoa. See how it's spreading out and out and out? Another spot. See the water spreading through the parts of the paper towel? Some yellow. Look how big this first spot is that we did. If you look, the circle of color is spreading out onto the paper towel. So this is what we call capillary action. And it's a lot like when we did our celery science experiment. The celery sucked the water up through its tiny tubes up in the middle. So the paper towel has these tiny little spots where the water can flow through. So the water is using capillary action to flow through all the tiny spots on the paper towel. You can make your very own pattern. You can make it look however you want. Just putting some more color in there. And the, wa the paper towel is soaking up our colors. Okay, how about we try some different colors? That one looks really pretty. How about some blue? <gasps> wow, look how it's spreading out. Our giraffe spots. Look how the colors are spreading through. They're using capillary action to spread through all the tiny little spots in the paper towel. So we did one with purple and green and blue and one with 
red, yellow, and orange. Look at our giraffes. They love it. And as they keep on spreading, you can see it's spreading through the paper towel even more on the outside. See how they see how the colors are spreading through even more? Okay friends, so I hope you had fun making our giraffe spots today. It turned out pretty cool and it's fun to watch the paper towel soak up all the colors and it looks just like our special spots on our giraffes. So super cool. So I hope you have a great day and maybe you'll get a chance to do this science experiment at home. And if you do, send me a picture and don't forget to read every day and be a great friend. I'll see you next time. Bye.